How many times have I seen The Office? Once, of course. Twice, duh. 447 times, uh, yeah. I just can't get to bed without the sweet, sweet sounds of Dwight Schrute shredding that paper. Who, who are you talking to? Oh, I'm just getting into mockumentary mode because today on Bustle Breakdown, we're talking all things The, the Office! office. Oh, you're, you're flat, you're flat. So Vanessa, almost as soon as it ended, people started asking for a reboot. Why I know. do you think that is? I think it's because of all the like drama, like the relationships, the hookups. Mm. Like we wanted to know where everyone was going, what was happening. Those hookups were so juicy. 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 Yeah. You know what we should do? We should do a breakdown of all of those moments. Okay. Like, yeah. Like all the dunder drama. Yes. Okay. Okay. You wanted like ninety seconds? Ninety okay. seconds for ready? a whole series? Yeah. <gasps> Nine seasons. <gasps> Ten seconds a season. Okay. Ready? Go. Okay, so season one, Pam is dating Roy. Roy is trash. Terrible. 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 And Jim's like, I love Pam from afar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pam and like Jim have like a will they won't they thing for right. forever. And the teapot, do you remember the teapot? The teapot. Iconic. Okay. Meanwhile, Ryan and Kelly, mm. uh, are they on and off? It feels like not a match Hated relationship. Them Hated them together. Yeah. Hated and then them. Dwight and Angela. Oh, love them Secret together. Love fest. Yes. <laughs> I love when two weird people come together to make some weird love. Perfect for each other. I love strange love. But then, like, a couple of seasons in, Dwight kills Angela's cat, By so she dumps him. Jim and Pam do get together eventually, mm -hmm. but it's like a secret. Do you remember how he asked her out? She was talking about her like forlorn love for him, and then he comes in, he's like, hey, do you want to grab dinner? Yes. And she goes, all right, and then he goes, it's a date. Oh! <laughs> yes. yes. And then there's like a proposal. Yes, at the gas station. Oh, they finally get so together. It was raining. Yeah. Um, um, oh, Erin comes on the scene, mm -hmm. and um, Andy's like in love with Erin, but she's dating Gabe, mm -hmm. and it's like this weird thing. And Michael oh. is with Jan. Michael's with Jan, <laughs> and Jan has her failed candle company. Oh my god. Okay, so then they break up, and they like mm -hmm. he's like kind of dating around, whatever. And then yeah. we meet Holly Flags like around the end, right. and she's like a saint. You could tell they're meant to be. And remember when they had that like office like outdoor thing, and it was real awkward when yeah, they did the they presentation. Did the skit. <laughs> yeah. And then and then he ends up with Holly Flags. Holly Flags. <laughs> um, and then um, that's it. And then, and then We've run out of time. <laughs> The Dunder Mifflin crowd could get down. But that's also why, like, The Office is so relatable. Mm -hmm. Like, the characters are so real. Like, who do you think you're most like? Ooh, I think I would probably be Dwight Shrew. You think so? Yeah. You got that energy? I'm so weird. That beat energy? Uh-huh. What about you? Who are you? I feel like I'm a mix of Jim, just because I'm always looking around being like, Ugh. But then I also have the enthusiasm about pop culture of, of Kelly. Little does she know, she's an Angela, and everybody knows it. I can hear you. Oh. I am not an Angela. Look at your haircut. <laughs> so one of my favorite parts from the series was the Dundies, okay. when Pam fell off her chair, iconic. Do you want to do like the Bustleys for our favorite moments? Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh, I actually have some Bustleys. Of course you do. Party planner. Ooh. The first Bustley goes to best, worst Michael Scott moment. I think that it is going to be when Michael Scott burns his foot on the George Foreman ah! grill. I enjoy having breakfast in bed. I like waking up to the smell of bacon. Sue me. Well, here's to you, Mike. All right, the next bus leave will be for the most tears <laughs> of an ocean moment. Like, oh what made God. you want to blubber for cry. days? Yes. No surprise here. It's when Jim confesses love at Casino and they kiss. Listen, Jim. And Even that, if you're not like into Jim and Pam as a concept, which some people aren't, mm -hmm. it was a romantic moment. I think the next one should go to the most iconic Jim <laughs> prank. Oh, okay. Tough. Oh, oh. When Jim hid Dwight's stapler in a thing of jello. Classic. And it was like in a mold. I thought one of the nominees would be when Jim convinced Dwight he was getting faxes from like future Dwight. Oh, I love that. I know. There's too many good ones. Yeah. How about we play? <gasps> Predictable. I predicted you were going to say that. Did you really? Yes. Okay, I think we should predict what the show will be like oh. if it happened now. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. I predict <laughs> that Erin has been stuck in a dry cleaning line <gasps> for years because she letting everyone cut her. That's She's so like, funny. She's like too nice. Yeah. That's so funny. I predict that after Dwight and uh, and Angela. Angela's wedding, you know that baby that yes, <laughs> that Kelly leaves and like they just like run away together. Yeah, I think that that baby ends up becoming like the most famous chef, and he has like a show <laughs> where it's like okay. his family and like hijinks and like frosting. Mm -hmm. Okay. I predict that Michael and Holly have like a really tasteful B and B, mm. and all the guests react the same way that all his like employees did yes. at the office. They're always like, "What's happening here?" 
I predict that Toby reinvents himself as one of those pickup artists <laughs> where they teach men how to like bag women. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I predict that Ryan goes on to make what later becomes Firefest. <gasps> you know he did. I you did. know Ryan was in Firefest. Yeah. Oh mm -hmm. no. Get at us. We would make this series. Pay it's me. already written for you. Done. Thanks for watching The Bustle Breakdown. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll be your best friends. And like Dwight True. I don't lie.